Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as, well, the Kingdom of New England in which we are trying to get, as you saw from the title and the thumbnail, a certain path, a certain Washingtonian path, but we shall read and begin with appeasing the elites, though still only existing as whispers that echo the halls of New England's most elite establishments. The allure of monarchism has begun to spread to the upper echelons of a society. The local elites of our lovely region have slowly begun to buy into the siren song that is American monarchism. As influences of British monarchism and the Washington conspiracy take hold, the great and affluent families of New England, such as Kennedys, Astors, and Vanderbilts, all have begun to feel the pull of the fanciful ideology, drawing, hoping to becoming the new aristocracy of this new potential New Englander kingdom. These rich families of monopoly barons, political titans, and esteemed businessmen all have begun to fancy and support the idea of a kingdom on American soil, an idea that once thought to be antithetical to the American dream and our founding principles. Despite the apparent contradictions to the land's founding ideals, these titans of industry have started to demand and the allocation of royal titles to themselves and the families as they seek to fish to become true nobility over their fellow New Englanders. Even worse, they have stated that if the titles aren't granted, they begin to support alternate channels to gain legitimacy and influence. We could just grant them the titles, and as currently they hold little meaning in our republic, or run the risk of not by not granting them the titles, possibly driving them into the arms of various separatist groups in our nation. Regardless, we must tread carefully as the future lies in balance. Now, to go with the Washingtonian route, we have to do the above process to get new love, uh, Lovecraft or Monarchist, but choose to not appease the native elites. So, appeasing elites, give the titles to shut them up, not a chance in heck, and pick the focus about driving the Redcoats back, which we are doing right now. And there will be a event about American monarchists. Do not choose I have questions option. So, uh, actually, when we play as New England, I technically did this one, even though this didn't cancel America's Darkest Star. If you want to read about that, please go ahead, because it gave me like 10% more stability. I'm like, stability is probably good to get. So, I've also done God Save the King. The people of New England are ungrateful. They took our intervention as an invasion and tried to rebel against us. They cannot be reasoned with. They must be placed under direct Canadian rule until they're ready to act civil once more. This may not be popular with the people, but we do not need their approval. God save the king and God help the people of New England and send the running coats running. The, red, the British dudes have betrayed our nation for the last time. The massacre in Boston is just another piece of evidence that the British are tyrants um, who must be removed. It's time to redeem 1776. It is time to declare our independence once more. New England will gain its freedom by Britain by bloodshed, just like our brothers before. And I don't think I've ever seen this happen before, have I? Swiss? Switzerland. Even the Austro-Hungarians. I might have said that before, but... So, about a monarchist, do not choose I have questions. No questions. And about a month after the uprising, an event about monarchists trying to get control, give it to them. So, we'll obviously come back here, so... Um, do not choose I have questions. So, no questions. Okay, so that's cool. Maybe I've seen it before, but that's actually really cool that they joined them. Austro-Hungarian Empire. Oh, look at that. Subsidies. I should play as a Swiss someday. I should be, like, very aggressive with the Swiss. Swiss domination someday, please. Campaign. Protector of the Balkans. Oh, Carl I. Uh, this focus is not too different from the Kaiser... Um, well, look at that. Kaiser Reich one, but... Uh, if you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. Excellent. Even though Dolphus is Austrian nation. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. God wills our progress. Now that sounds about right. <sighs> Declare the Gross Austerreichs Reich. That sounds awesome. Oh. I might have to do that sort of campaign sometime relatively soon. That sounds so cool. But it's in the red coats running. So the plot begins. Now we can do our own monarchy. We can do Death of the Republic. Um, we can do the True Heirs as, and or the Military Exchange. We're not going to go down this route. But if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. And declare martial law. And the Ni Niagara Peace. And a Vendetta. Cool. They're joining the Entente. And it is what it is. They're not going down this route, but that's okay. Maybe someday. God save the king. God save the Entente. We'll see what happens. The plot begins. The British have once again come to oppress our people. We tried to teach this lesson to them once, to no avail. Now it's time to teach this lesson to them one final time. Americans, we'll never fall under a tyrant's yoke, especially the yoke of the British dudes. So come on, fellow New Englanders. Rise up against tyranny. Rise up against the oppression. It's time to redeem 1776 and kick the British out of New England once for all. Let's make Washington proud. And when we have some focuses, oh yes, we can do some stuff over here, which is very good. We used to have some Minutemen. I like that a lot. Infrastructure would be very good as well. New England's Navy, I love that. And Air Force, I want to do the Minutemen just so we can start mobilizing our soldiers to get some population. Governor Long claims to have inherited the legacy of the Minutemen. But we are the true successors to those who stared down the British on the fields of Lexington and Concord. And so shall we again oppose the troops when they come for us. <clears throat> And we are a puppet of these guys, of the Canadians too, so. We have the IED, which is actually pretty good. And the New Sons of Liberty, look at that. And we're supporting, apparently, the 
feds. But as a call of resistance rings louder by the day, the people once again take up arms against the British oppressors. The citizens' militia once again have been formed to expel the British from New England, and the Sons of Liberty have been reborn. Look at this. Some new Sons of Liberty are now on the battle line, as well as affecting members of the military. Our odds may seem long, but nothing is impossible. Sorry, I usually open this up just to make sure that we do okay. So, about American monarchists, oh, Washington myth. With the rebel circles rising a peculiar subset, or within them. A subset of people who subscribe to the so-called Washington myth. The myth entails that George Washington was secretly a monarchist and wanted to crown himself king, but Thomas Jefferson and John Adams made Washington give up power and found a republic. They claim to have letters from Washington to Jefferson to prove it, even though they, they shy on revealing them. Somehow, this subsect of revolutionaries has managed to gain a concerning amount of sway within the rebel circles. So, this one says, uh, about American monarchists. Yeah, I guess that's the event. Finally, once you tell the truth, put them in charge. I have questions. Do not choose I have questions. So we don't have to choose this one. So we're losing political power. We're going to lose some stability. So can we, can we can we spend the PP for now? Oh, yeah, we can. So actually, that's actually really good to do it now then. Um, we get some 50 naval XP. That's pretty nice. We don't really need it. We're making ships anyways actually right now. But we'll do that one anyways. So after about a month of, after the after an uprising, an event about the monarchists trying to get control. Give it to them. So we'll give the monarchists control. Nice. Give them control, baby. Give them all sorts of control. But follow it up with what? After the Minutemen, I do want to focus a little bit more on... If, oh, that would be really nice. Infrastructure would be really good. I like the political power. Settler movement would be good. Let's do Congressional Army decision first. It's only a 35-day focus. The time has come to decide how we'll run our military. Congress has four different men, considering, and each comes with their own deduction. Add a Father Chaffee, General John H. Pershing, Ernest Old Gravel Voice Harmon, and politician Theodore F. Green are the running. And the decisions come, who to point? Leaving the IEDC. Since we're no longer member of the... Oh, ooh. On time, it falls out we can no longer remain part of the IEDC. Already, our engineers are bad leaving the Canadian government. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Hold on. The rebellion is ready. After many months of planning, the rebellion against the British oppressors is finally complete. Uh, we now rise up by the millions to cast off the British chains. The voice is called by the millions as the sons of new sons of liberty rally with the military defectors to drive the Canadians out of New England. This time has come, we shall breathe free once again. The army takes charge. As the old order of New England falls, the civilian administration has rendered itself incapable of dealing with the crisis. So, in the absence of a proper government, the main military commander under General Leslie Groves Jr. is taking control of the state until stability is returned. Some would say that Groves is now the American MacArthur, but Groves assures us that the military regime is purely temporary. Long live Marshal Groves! Okay, I didn't realize that we were literally going to go to war with him too here. Oh, crap. Look at this. This is really bad. Oh, we're going to lose so hard here. Holy crap. Um, if that's the case... Can we do anything here? <clears throat> oh, we get this anyways. Okay. Wait, the true sons. Wait. Wait, what? The Washington myth has been become accepted. Wait. Uh. Well, that's interesting. <clears throat> do not choose. I have questions. What a month of uprising. An event about monarchists trying to get control. Give it to them. Oh, okay. Cool. So, obviously things go poorly. Which they probably will. We'll see what happens. Uh, you guys... Uh, for now, do that, as my voice is starting to crack too, so. Hopefully we can hold for about a month. <clears throat> my apologies, my voice just wants to keep cracking, 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 baby. Into artillery would be very nice. We're going to superior firepower just because it's very nice to have. And go logistics, we're going to need them. We know those big daddies here. Yep, drive them out, drive them out if you can. Hartford. Ooh, I've heard Hartford is not a very good place to live. Uh, we have one destroyer. That is not ideal, I'll be honest. Not ideal. We'll see what happens. We'll see if definitely. Oh my goodness, we got cut off here. That sucks. You guys both lost here, huh? That sucker knows. How are you? Yeah, you guys are militia. Militia sucks. I hate militia so much, man. It's funny, you must have forced attack and forced defense it. I mean. What else can we really do here? I mean, they should be starving for supplies much more than this, but whatever. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Oh, I thought okay, this one. Come on, please get something here. Come on, please start. Ah! Monarchists gaining control of the resistance. With the recent denial of our ludicrous request, the elite families of New England have begun to throw in with a myriad of monarchist movements in our fair nation. Drawing inspiration for the old myth that George Washington himself had a secret desire to be king as well as from the British exiles in Canada, the rich and affluent of our nation have fully abandoned the ideas of republicanism. With the ascension to the forefront of our nation's politics, the allure of monarchism can be felt from Buffalo to Augusta, as great families like the Kennedys or Vanderbilts have begun to use their exorbitant wealth to finance monarchist alliance separatist groups across New England. Seeking so to use these rebels as a tool to gain power for themselves. They've infiltrated cell after cell of these monarchist groups in order to control more of the separatists by the day. 
If our administration doesn't act soon, New England may fail or fall to monarchical rule for the first time since the 13 colonies still stood. We can either accept our fate or throw in with us off, or stand to fight in defense of the ideals of the founding fathers and denounce this monarchist taint once and for all. Give control of those fire, fire with fire. America is no place for kings. Yeah, this one. Republican resistance. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. That's not good, man. That's not good. So, and give you control. After some time, an event will pop up. Ooh, about who to crown? Hopefully, we can, you know, like, peace out. Like, seriously? We're dying? Ah, oh, the Kingdom of New England. With our decision to officially support these monarchist fanatics, the inevitable choice of who shall lead up or shall lead has come up, with the various groups across New England supporting a different family line. Many names have come up for the potential first King of New England. Of the most popular possible genealogies to Ruley's lens, the dynasties of Washington, Kennedy, and Astor have become the main candidates in the running to rule. As the debate rages, the final choice has reached our administration's desk. Should we crown the Washingtons, vague descendants of our founders and revolutionary era hero George Washington or shall we support a more modern line and the Kennedys are asters whose family lines are more recent and less diluted having served our region diligently for decades regardless of our decision the family we choose to become the face of New England as a whole so we must choose carefully Kennedys ring of control the Washingtons the true heirs, my friends, the true heirs, long live the true heirs. With the Washington Washingtonians taking control of the government, it's time to put America's true heirs into power. The Washington family must now take charge over America and ensure its greatness. However, we may not control the entirety of America or even Mount Vernon, but with the Washingtonians taking control of the rebel state of New England, as for the new government, as it consolidates itself, they pick a king from the two potential choices. Descendant of proud general Robert E. Lee, Dr. George Boiling Lee, as the obvious choice. However, it declines. Robert E. Lee V has been offered the crown. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, who do we want? Robert E. Lee V. Jesus, that's so cool. Um, with the Washington myth gaining wide-scale acceptance, New England has officially proclaimed the descendants of George Washington as a monarch of New England. While the claims for Washington being a monarchist are scarce, the myth has gained a large amount of traction. It's enough to solidify monarchist control over New England. Oh my gosh, I gotta go with Robert E. Lee. I'm sorry, like someone like me, he's gotta go with E. Lee. Right? The Mount Vernon elites spread the truth. Washington's will. Reintegrate America? Death of the Republic. Um I don't know which way to go. So I'm gonna save here real quick. I mean this might be bad. I do we get a piece out with these guys at all? Like this is ridiculous. Like I get it, but I might just have to use comms commands. I gotta go with someone like this, right? Um Descendant. Obvious choice. I don't know. Robert E. Lee. I'm sorry, man. You do not look like a Robert E. Lee, man. So do we peace out with him at all? We're just, we're just going to die here, probably. Yeah, we're probably just going to die here, then. Reestablish a minimum, which is nice. Um, we'll go as far as we can. I might just have to use cons commands for this, because this doesn't make any sense. Why we still be at war. Mount Vernon Elite. Uh, let's do it. Or Death of the Republic, because we get more political power and stability. Some still protest the monarchy, waiting or wanting to declare another republic instead of having to, of replacing one with another. They are fools. We have seen the fate of the republics. Look out the window and see the nations just uh, south and broad in a pointless war. If we want to avoid America's fate, we best remain loyal to our monarch. Followed up with, uh, if you're this one, the Washingtons have once again come to save to America. The snakes, Jeffersons, and Evans robbed America of greatness when they declared America as a republic going against Washington's vision. We all pay the price. Two civil wars and once again being under the British boot. He'll be rolling in his grave. Luckily, we've fixed the mistakes of the past. Um... Is there anything we could do here? Like, this is... I don't like this. We should be able to peace out and join... Maybe, like, join them or something? Join something here? Historical artifacts lost. The night sky in Hartford glowed orange as a massive fire engulfed the main office of the Historical Society. And the head office by, held by some priceless artifacts. Mainly letters from George Washington and Thomas Jefferson that supposedly proved that Washington Gate was wanted to crown himself king. According to the Washingtonians, these letters proved their point, but are now lost to time. After an extensive investigation, the local fire chief found unusual burn patterns that suggest arson. Fingers were pointed originally at well-known arsonist Robert Dale Seggy. However, fingers began to be pointed in the direction of the central government. After it was found out that all artifacts except for the supposed letters have been moved from the office just before, hours before the out fire. Fire claims all, like, how are we supposed to win here? You're not. Um, I don't care about the Belgrade pocket, I'll be honest. Oh, the cars are rolling. That's kind of nice. Uh, um, yeah. If they capitulate us, then I'm going to just go and, go and reload it and just delete all their divisions. I'm sorry, like, we're going to have this campaign no matter what. This is so dumb. And also the AI set it up so we go concentrate. So it's something a little different. Anything else we could do here? Probably not. And we're probably going to die. Probably going to die. This is so stupid. Um, Fall of Boston. Yeah. Actually, let's just... Can we see what, what we get replaced with first? 
Because I'll reload one of the saves and I'll just... Unfortunately, I have to delete the divisions. That's so stupid. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I mean, at this point, if Canada intervenes, like, the other... I, the other factions should just intervene as well. Like, seriously, man? Seriously? Man, we'll get to the death of the Republic done. Okay, so now we don't get anything there. We're going to observe. And these are dark times. Uh, who do they become, then? It just makes me hate Canadians so much more right now. But we're going to go back, and I'm going to have to use console commands because this is kind of stupid. All right, everyone. So like I said earlier, I had to use console commands just to get rid of their divisions because you literally will have to die. So we're going to have a very, very weak Entente. And you know what? I really don't like Canadians now. But peace with Canada. We've occupied Ottawa, and currently the Canadians on the run. Perhaps the time has come to make peace, lest we find ourselves dragged down in their, in their expansive territory. Let's end this because I don't want to deal with them anymore. Like, seriously. C Canada? My opinion of Canada is just shot way down. Way, 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 way down. And it's not a fault in real life, but it sort of is. It sort of is. Cool. And hopefully it's a... Oh, there we go. Finally. So, it is what it is. But I just want to make sure we can have a successful run here. Now, that would be a waste of naval because we spent stuff on that. But, that's not, not bad. Yeah, screw the Canadians. I will march back to Canada. And also converted all of our militia division to this type of infantry template. So... Artillery, engineers, obviously we don't have that equipment yet, but we'll get there. And we're doing still doing Death of the Republic, in which Monarchist Revival might be really good to do. Um, we get more stability, get more political power. M Mount Vernon Elite would be very nice, though. More stability, a lot more political power. And then get some more paternal autocracy. That's not a bad idea. And there goes the Western Command Center. Very good. Conscription crisis. Crisis? That's a crisis, but... Conscription crisis in, in uh, Quebec, but monarchist revival. Well, five years ago, the idea of monarchism taking root in New England may be seen as absurd, yet here, many have seen the failures of the Republic. Under monarchy, New England has seen stability, unlike the rest of America, thanks only to a brave monarch. Monarchist loyalism is spreading like wildfire, and republicanism is dying away. Cool. Now we're building up some cities, as you can see. And since we're peace, let's train the living crap out of our destroyers. I'll uh, see what he's okay. Harold Rainsford Stock. Huh? Oh, wait. Hey, we got him twice. Look at that. Um, that'd be cool. That'd be really weird if he didn't have the same stats, but hey, he's, he, we got the Herald clones. Herald clones for everyone. So now we're looking a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit better. Cool. And then we're going to do what? Reclaiming America? That'd be kind of fun to do, so. But spreading truth, more political power, 35 days, yeah. The 37 World Series, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Here's hoping for a good series. Spread the truth. I like that one a lot because you can get this. This one can influence and get you more political power, anyways. Um, and we could really use more PP. I'll be honest. So, but let's do Mount Vernon Elite. The faster we get this, more PP we get. Well, we may not own our rightful property, of Mount Vernon, which I've been to. With enough money, we can reclaim it and make it the center of a new elite. The heirs of Washington have been chosen by blood and God to lead America. Great men like Robert E. Lee were descended from Washington's blood. And if generations of Lees in Washington are on top of society, New England can be a center of humanity's best. And Robert E. Lee, New England monarch, which is so weird. More political power. Well, actually, less political power. More stability and less war support, so. And House of Washington. Ah, yes. Head of State, Robert E. Lee. That is... That is something, man. That is definitely something. How is this a war going? Obviously, the WCC, WCC's collapsed, but the card's having a bad time. The American USA is doing okay-ish, so. We got more population. We just need so much stuff, man. We have, like, no factories. We, we need so many guns, so much other stuff. So much, so much, so much, so much. Uh, put tanks below planes. I will be using carriers, but not for a while, at least. Not for a while. Oh, and are you repairing? No, you're not, which is kind of disappointing, but there you go. Uh, if you need to go four, that's fine with us. That's totally fine with me. Actually, where can we put you? Reserve Fleet, American Theater 1. Hmm. That doesn't really matter. There you go. That's useless. There you go. Cool. Gandhi takes power. I'd love to play as Gandhi someday. Monarchist Revival, Mount Vernon Elite. Nice. And now we get 1.13 every day. Not bad. Followed up with, spread the truth. The darn British tried to take our freedoms once, and we showed them that America's Americans won't stand for tyranny. Just as back. Uh, <clears throat> In the 1700s, we have expelled the tyrannical British and restored freedom to our land. The Redcoats are on the run, and all patriotic citizens of New England celebrate. They follow the warped vision of Jefferson and Adams going against the will of Washington. If America is ever to be saved from decadent republicanism, the truth must be known about Washington's true intentions. What is this crap about peace with Canada? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me it's going to be fired anyways? Well, then how about you tell them not to declare war on us immediately? Like, this, I'll be honest, New England needs a little bit, just, just, a little bit more polish. 
Not a rework, but just a little bit more polish. After many months of planning, the rebellion against the British oppressors is finally complete. We now rise up by the millions and cast off the British chains. The voices called by the millions as the new sons of liberty rally with the military defectors to drive the Canadians out of New England. The time has come. Uh, uh, we shall breathe free once again. Peace of last. Yeah, I don't care. I'm sorry, but that's... Like I said, this needs a little bit more polish. It really does need a little bit more polish because if they're in our lands to begin with, you're just screwed from the start. There's nothing you can do. You can't defend against them if they're in your land, so... But Jack the Doberman. As a man falls back into his usual routine of killing his neighbors, the animal world is not spared from the violence either. A happy story, however, emerged from Connecticut where a young Dem Doberman, not Democrat, but a Doberman, ironically enough, named Jack, was able to stop militia agents from blowing a bomb in Hartford. The dog was trained in cooperation with the Connecticut National Guard when his patrol spotted the agents who promptly tried to escape from capture. With the courage of a true American... <clears throat> Uh, the little dog immediately ran after them and pulled one of the two men down, leading to his capture. This man later turned out to be none other than Paul Rashford, a target long sought but after the Hartford Police Department for his implications in the riot only a few months earlier and who seems to have established a whole network of operatives in, Can in Connecticut. While, many, while his capture by, by no means marks the end of social threat in the state, Jack has, uh, has dealt a heavy blow to their leadership. We express our thanks to this good old boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm just going to win here. The feds are still doing not bad in Pennsylvania. The car is getting heavily beaten back, but now that the Black Revolt is down and beaten... Oh, hello. That's not a bad thing for them to do, the American Union state. Uh, how else is the world looking? It's looking okay. I think the Poles have fallen to the military government. Paternal autocrats. Cool. United Baltic Dutch still exists here. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything else? Romania's doing well against the Bulgarians, but what else is new? Oh, the Ankoban Union and the North Caucasian Emirate. Okay. Iran, Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire almost always wins down my campaigns. I think. When we're playing Kaiserite, Kaiserite I have to play some Mongolia someday, though. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, my goodness. Indo-Chinese Union. Australia's in Confederation. Africa is still African. Deutsche Middle Africa, but, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to be spreading some fat truth bombs around here, man. Fat truth bombs. Washington's will. The myth that Washington wanted America to be a republic still runs strong through American culture. Every faction in the Civil War so far follows it, but we know better. We know the truth. If Washington defied the Republican snakes, perhaps America could have seen true greatness, and perhaps the land would have been truly been free. Oh, okay. Good luck, guys, fighting a land war in Asia. Washington as well, we get more daily political power, and we get a little bit more war support. So it helps offset this guy's war support. So we get actually plus one. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We're going to try to immediately go ahead and go to uh, partial mobilization. Well, I guess early mobilization. Because we have ten, which is not bad, but still. Oh, uh, join them, guys. Join them. 67 ain't enough, but you know what? That's okay with us. Keep training, 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 training. I don't think we have any planes, do we? No, we don't, which sucks. Yeah. All right, guys, actually not looking too bad. Go ahead and train, even though we have, like, no resources, but whatever. <clears throat> but that's all right, right? That's all right. Let's take a look at them. Actually, give me, like, a look at the score, and by score, I mean casualties. Um, logistics 1. Well, let's do that one first. It is 38, so happy 38, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Get some more research speed. Um, Second American Civil War. Whoa, that is a weird flag. What's the Command Center America? 22,000 versus... What way did the PSA go? Hold on. I've never seen that flag before. Upton Sinclair. They went Radical Socialist. Wow. Okay. Well, cool. Good luck with that. You gotta feel bad for the American Union State. They're, they're two front war, especially against the Reds. Oh, my goodness. Um, These guys... Wow. Wow. CSA has lost quite a few guys, though. That's... A little surprising, actually. But they have so much manpower, it doesn't even matter. The American Federal War. 4,000 versus the car. They must have been in peace for a while. The Bush War. I think I set it up that way so the car doesn't have to fight them in immediately. But, after that one, reintegrate America. We control our own all of American states. Nope. Reclaim America. Pretty much. Okay, so now we go to war with the other groups. Uh, the elite have taken charge. Oh, we can't get that one. Turncoat Joe. Uh, New England Defense Fleet. A first. Okay. Uh, we'll probably do this one next. America's rightfully ours. Ever since the days of the Revolution, great men like Washington and later great men like Lee controlled America. However, America has always been weaker than it had to be. Republicans, can, Republicans kept America in the dark. However, we have fixed the mistakes of the past, and now we can erase the disgusting bastions of our Republicanism and make America genuinely great. Long live the king! So now, Canada, I swear to God, if you come back over me, I will literally annex you and then release you. I do not want to deal with the goddamn Canadians. Just getting outfit for there because the Reds do have a navy. I want to at least take New York. Keep training for now. We don't have to go to war immediately, so I want them to get a little weaker first because they're going to be very. Eh, actually, you know what? It's probably best to just go in. It probably really is. So 
Washington's will, and then reclaim America. That'll be great. Anything spare here? Nope. If we can get New Jersey, as well as New York City, that'd be re actually really good for us. We could really use more millies and civvies. And resources in general. Supply map mode, resource map mode. So yeah, getting a little bit of fuel right there is not bad. Getting that steel from Pennsylvania would be so important. So good again. Reclaim America. After we re start to reclaim America, what are we going to do? Um, requires one of the following. Reclaim America. Oh, Red Flood. If you want about Red Flood, that's a pretty cool mod. Please go right ahead. Washington Monarchy. Yes, please. That seems like a good thing to do. Well, the undeniable truth is that George Washington wanted to be king. He didn't want the royal system of beforehand. Washington's vision was not one of tyranny, but one of sensible governance and the one of freedom. We shall be sure to follow his vision for America. Stop the kingdom of America. Oh, boy. American Rebirth. Um, where's American Rebirth? Oh, it's over there on the right. The kingdom of America. That is... That sounds so bad. Just, I'm sorry, but as, uh, as an American, Jesus. Cool, keep going, guys. 77 naval XP ain't too bad. Look at that. Uh, Washington's well. We currently get what? 1.34 every single day. Cool. Early mobilization. Now we're at 11, which is not much. So we have what? 30% of our consumer of uh, civilian and military factories are dedicated to consumer goods. Not bad. Delay adoption is pretty good. Mobile defense is what we're going to need, so. The Reds don't know what's going to hit them. Oh, okay, that's good. That's actually really good for us, too. Oh, that's bad for Huey Long. I remember playing as Huey Long. I was so frustrated in that, that campaign. Oh, my goodness. Not again for a while. Not again. Oh. Actually, do we have any divisions here? No, you guys are still struggling. Um, if that's the case, lower this by, like, five. Because we don't have... I want to make sure all of our divisions actually have enough stuff. Okay, that's looking a lot better for that. It's not too bad. All right, boys. We're going to be going to war very, very soon. Wait, United Peoples of Africa. Yeah, that's, like, the Black Revolt, so... All right, boys and girls, let's head on in. It's time to teach these reds a goddamn lesson. All right, so after that, I think we're going to focus more on the military for now. So, we're going to go with defensive in nature. No, 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 no. Long-range patrols. Bastion of freedom. Upstate New York. Congressional army decision. Pretty much. Oh, wait, we can't do that one? Oh, we're still doing the other focus, huh? That's right. So, I've already read that one, so we're going to do that one anyways. Fall of New York City. New York is ours. Go, go, go. We gotta get New Jersey. Get Jersey. New York, Trenton, Atlantic City. Philly, 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 baby. Yes. Oh, no. MacArthur's been cooed. I, I set it up so he didn't get cooed. Okay, then. Whatever. Yeah, you find them reds. You beat the crap out of their faces. Why are you going up there? Oh, come down here, guys. Come on. Come on. Seriously, just take the stuff, man. Take the stuff. It's just a go. We need Philly. Philly, we got to give him some cheese steaks. There you go. Uh, you'll, you'll be okay there-ish. Y'all can stop attacking. I'm just going to manually control where and who to attack. Don't let him do that. Oh, well, okay then. Oh, that's... Well, no, 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 that's not bad. Yeah, you guys hold... Defend for now. You guys hold, too. Don't. I said hold. Hold, 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 hold. Hey, we encircled a red division. Nice. Not bad. Pretty good. Um, honestly, you guys just hold. You guys hold, too. Oh, how did you get encircled? What the hell? What the hell? No, you're going in, boys. You're going in. You ain't going to get encircled here. Force the attack. Force it. You ain't stopping here, man. You got to... I told you to help attack. What the heck? Are you kidding me? I'll be honest, like, this campaign is already, like, pissing me off. With all the crap that's already in it. Like, force defense, too. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is stupid. So, I'm going to have to fix this up as well. Aren't I? Yep, I'll be all right All right, back. everyone. So, my apologies about it earlier. Just, with this whole Kingdom of New England, it's not easy. It's not easy. And honestly, with the frustration it gives me, it's not been a lot of fun. So, I've had to use console commands. And as you can see, we've taken out Washington and Pennsylvania. It's just... Like, our population, I get that, we're, no, we're not, like, a really strong nation yet, but, like, I was looking over, and our core population is about 50 million, the car is 27 million, the CSA is 16 million-ish, you know, before they lost even more land, these guys are, like, 22 million or so like that, so, honestly, we're pretty equal in terms of, like, manpower and industry-wise, like, we have all, all New England almost, maybe except for Pennsylvania, New York City, and New Jersey, but, like, still... Still, I don't know. I, I just don't like how this is set up. I'm, and I'll be honest, I, I'm not a huge fan of the American Civil War. Like, so. But, the Great New England Hurricane of 1938. Well, it was considered a non-issue. The Yankee clip a hurricane arrived in Long Island September 21st and would only 
A few hours later, turned out to be the largest hurricane to set foot in New England since the Great Colonial Hurricane of 1635. Moving north from Long Island to Connecticut, Rhode Island, and up through Vermont, the storm class cost the lives of close to 700 people. By the end of the devastation, over 57,000 homes were destroyed or damaged, and road networks all across the New England region lay in tatters with projections estimating that it would take us months or even years to reopen them to traffic. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Holy crap. But God save us all. But at this point, I'm done. I'm done, like, attacking yourself. Like, like, oh my goodness, like, honestly, the feds, yeah, it's the U.S. Federal Army, you know, military. But all they have is Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia, pretty much. Yeah, they got a little bit of North Carolina, too, but they really have a, so they should have a nice stockpile, but, like, they don't have industry. I mean, Washington, D.C., I'm sure, has some industry, but, like, they really don't have industry. But, for now, we're still at war, and I've done a couple folks, such as Funster Smith & Wesson. Found 1852. A small arms manufacturer, Smith & Wesson, is a prime example of genius New Englanders and the weapons business. Further funding and expansion of the production facilities shall ensure that our troops have sufficient weapons to back up their claims in the U.S., in which we get two military factories from them. And we expanded the Ivy Leagues as well. Two out of the three big Ivies, Harvard and Yale, lie under our control. We must support the scholars at, the, at these and high-level universities in the developing or development of computers and other industrial, industrial technologies and low munition factories, which we got two more military, military factories as well. To assist our weapons manufacturer, Remington, and to provide a steady supply of ammo for our troops on the front, Plans have been drawn up to fund the creation of new munitions plant in the town of Lowell, Massachusetts, which has been hit hard by Great Depression, leaving about 40% of the population without jobs, which is actually, that sounds very, very extreme. 40%, holy crap. But like, all right, is there anything else we can do over here yet? It's not, which is totally fine. I want to focus on the military and industry and stuff like that. So, I think I've done this before, but we'll go, uh, probably not purging, Chaffee? Mobile Warfare, that's before Mobile Warfare. We are going Superior Firepower, so I'm pretty sure I've done this one before. Or maybe I haven't. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Green Policy? Huh, Green Policy. But old gravel voice. Ernst, Ernest H. or N. Harmon is one of our top generals, and he's a distinct plan. He calls it Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition. And it's a plan that specifically emphasizes artillery bombardment and has a more general focus on equipment production. With a focus on these things, old gravel voice knows that we will blow our enemies to smithereens. At least hopefully. That's hope. So we got. Hopefully we get some more cores on these guys. If we don't, that's really bad for us. So we'll see what happens, but there's no guarantee. We're going to need a lot of guns. Never mind. We've got a lot of guns, apparently. Since we capitulate those other pieces of garbage, so. Yep, I, I, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of the American Civil War. I'm just not. Kaiser Reich, Kaiser Redux, not a big fan. Not a big fan anymore. It's... So, yeah. 40s, not bad. And... Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with big, big things here. Because we're going, you know, superior firepower. So, so we shall. So if you're still watching, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. It does help me out. Cool. And you, we're going big to go home, so do that. Thank you very much. And we will do this. Thank you very much. Cool. Excavation 2 is almost 1939, which is nice. Let's go and grab some more output. I don't like concentrated very much, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, our armor's not very big, but, oh well, it is what it is. To, to go down this route, it is what it is, you know. I let the car kill them off. Besides, when's the last time we actually see the car, like, win? Or the, eh, the PSA is maybe sometimes. But the car? How well are they doing? Eh, they're doing okay. American United States really taking a fat loss. The PSA, when I played them once, it was really easy. But what are we missing here? Is it support equipment? It is support equipment because our horses that we're using as garrisons have military police, which you might take off. We'll see what happens. Any more ships? No, that's fine. Um, you guys are still training, which is fine. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Not gonna be great, but we'll see what happens. And we can't train any more divisions because we just don't have enough equipment for support equipment. Uh, actually, since we're here, anyways, we need a little bit more aluminum. Um, I don't want to support anyone here that doesn't support us. So PSA, hey, thanks guys, thanks. All gravel boys, integrated armor, might as well. Thanks are fairly new to warfare, but have similar explosive potential to artillery. But together, the forces can bring help on our enemy. Though we still need shells and training for these tactics. Establishing a plan is the first step to victory. Let's bring armor to the fold. So, not bad, not bad. Um, pass the Infrastructure Act. We could probably do that. We could probably really use that, actually. Pass the Infrastructure Act. Rough winters and a lack of public funding have destroyed our infrastructure. Trains are late, roads are full of potholes, and people are angry. Comprehensive investment in infrastructure will placate the population and get an unemployed, well-paying job. So, not bad. I think from here on out, I'm going to just do the American Civil War, just kind of wait for things to happen. So, I'm going to read a lot of the focuses, and then we'll reconvene probably when it's over the, the settler movement. The settler movement, or settlement movement, of both the 20s. Tried. Or other 20s try to bring the, the rich and poor of society together in both physical and social proximity. Its main objective was the establishment of set, uh, settlement houses and poor urban areas in which volunteer middle class settlement workers would live, hoping to share knowledge and culture with and alleviate the poverty of their low income neighbors. We gotta bring back this program. Sounds like a good idea.
And what else do we have here? Cool. Carrier fighters. Very nice. Followed up with building a Bureau of Central Planning. Public works programs are a good way of ensuring that unemployment does not breed radicalism. The new Bureau of Central Planning should therefore be created to ensure a central authority in guiding your people away from the streets and into the factories and construction facilities. All for a better tomorrow. Electrification effort. Many of our rural communities lack electricity, especially in Vermont and New Hampshire. We need to ensure that all citizens have access to it and American capitalism. Capitalism is the lifeblood of America. The traders in the rest of the country seek to destroy it, and with it, the American way of life. We want to preserve it at all costs. Steel mills of Maine. Maine is full of valuable mineral deposits. We must ensure that they are accessible for mining through the development of new resource extraction technology. The Minute Tank. Tanks and other armored vehicles have proven themselves a the future for warfare, and it seems only fair that we should devote ourselves to their development as well if we wish to remain competitive. In honor of the Minutemen of the American Revolution, the project has been codenamed Minute Tank. Combat the Petroleum Deficit. The dire fuel situation of the Entente is forcing our hand in the ever-continuing search to find a reliable solution to the issue. Researchers from all over the British Empire and now the Ivy League are hard at work to ensure that New England will not fall due to scarcity alone. Followed up with probably a couple more military focuses, such as New England's Navy. Only a few ships and even fewer sailors remain under the provisional government's control. We take a stock of our maritime situation in New England Air Force. Although we have little experience in the use of aircraft and military operations, the Valkyrie or the Ottomans, but the Valkyrie has shown its crucial role in the battlefield, and years of continued research and development in the field has led to the creation of our own Air Force. Although untested in battle, our manufacturers have guaranteed us that America has and will always have the best aircraft in the world, and tactical decisiveness. If there's any lesson that should be learned from the Valkyrie, it is that the enemy should be destroyed decisively before they have a chance to dig in. To avoid prolonged conflicts, we will invest in aggressive and deci decisive tactics that allow us to use our superior firepower to our advantage. Nice. And since we're here already, uh, let's see what happens. And the Cairo Pact. Cool. And we'll do any good support, because why not? The Great Syrian Revolt. Good job, Syrians. Good job. Revolt, revolt, revolt. Partial mobilization, thank you. And artillery offensive. Harman argues that an investment in artillery would go a long way in breaking through to the south or in any other theater of war. With artillery coming first, the enemy lines will be melted like butter, and our infantry will be the knife that slashes through it. West Point Engineering. West Point is one of the greatest military institutions in the world, but officers are not only graduates. They are also engineers with... Uh, Crucial knowledge that could bolster our war effort. Giving more funding to West Point, encouraging engineers as or engineering as a career, will help our military overcome some of the greatest annoyances we can encounter in this war. Pointing the New England poet laureate, the position of poet laureate has been discussed with the state politics for a few years now. A single person to represent the corpus of hundreds of artists against the tide of film and popular music as an art form. The New England Congress has decided to create this tide along with the recon reconsecration of the Boston. Athenium of the Temporary Library of Congress. The top candidate in the congressional poll is Robert Frost, who exhibits a distinctly New England mastery of modernist poetry. Public polls, however, have shown favor for the pulp fiction writer H.P. Lovecraft. He has written in papers that would accept this award, but not appear in public for the ceremony. The Library of Congress is in a bind. Uh, let's go with modernist master. Heavy equipment purchase. We'll purchase tanks, artillery, motorized vehicles, and other equipment such as bullets to make sure our men are never out of ammo. With this effort, we can win against our more numerous rivals, as we will have many bullets for every soldier they can throw away. Every soldier shall shall shout, pass the ammo, and we'll fire until the enemy is eviscerated. Counterattack bias. General Harmon believes that if our men are being pushed back, they should fire with overwhelming artillery force to hold the line and even push the enemy back. In fact, Harmon prefers this strategy. Noting it allows the enemy to fall into our artillery's waiting jaws and spear armor spearhead. Although he emphasized the use of artillery and planes, Herman is also a strong proponent of armor warfare. He believes that our tanks can punch holes in enemy lines that can be followed up by up on by planes, artillery, and infantry in order to overwhelm our enemy. Let's train our men and build our equipment to serve this purpose. And bomb bombing support. We shall bomb our enemy into submission until they praise the Lord. Airplanes can carry heavier loads than ever before, and all gravel voice and will be this factor advantage. Let's fill the sky with planes to make sure that the enemy stop our ground forces and shore bombardment. The sea will not be spared from a wrath. We will rain fire on the coastline of our enemies, destroying their ports and harbors so that they can never invade our homeland, and we'll do one mole, one mole, such as settlement movement, but really, we'll do battle line of freedom, because we probably can, alright? We're surrounded by history, from the battlefields of Lexington and Concord, where the first shots of the revolution were fired, to the hallowed halls of Boston. We must treasure and celebrate our past as the birthplace of American democracy. The board is drawn to the state of New York, and shall give our best to keep the ideological extremes of the South outside our territory. But if you enjoyed the video, somehow, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we have, hopefully, a lot more of America Reclaimed. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.